the Pride Parade, the NHL Draft, and the world's largest block party. Those are just three of the events in Chicago this weekend, keeping police on their toes. Good evening. I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. The Pride Parade kicks off at noon Sunday at Broadway in Montrose, then heads south on Broadway to Halstead, east on Belmont, back to Broadway, ending up at Diversity and Sheridan. CBS 2's Audrina Bigas is live in Uptown with what you can expect. Audrina. Good evening, Rob and Erica. As you said, that parade will start right here at Broadway and Montrose. It's a different year, but the same drill here. If you're coming out, you will see added police presence. It's the calm before the fun in Boys Town. Before the streets are filled and anywhere between 250 and 400,000 people will line the parade route on Sunday. In just one day, close to a million expected to celebrate on the city's north side. Keep your eye, ear out. Businesses are tightening security ahead of the big weekend. There's going to be a doorman at each checkpoint here, at the other checkpoint as well, even at the back checkpoint. Along the four mile route, more barricades will line the streets this year. Security and traffic cameras will be monitored, and more officers will be patrolling. What you won't see is all the undercovers that are assigned uh, throughout these events as well. City officials won't say how many, but last year, CPD deployed an additional two. 200 officers and Chicago Pride organizers hired 160 private security officers, the most they ever had, all following the Pulse nightclub shooting in Orlando. I do like the extra security there because, you know, it, it's important. Like, Orlando happened, like, for real. Does it make you feel protected to know that they're going to be out here in force? Yeah, I guess it would, considering what happened last year, it would. This year, security could look something like we saw this summer at other big events in and around Chicago. Officers with rifles drawn at the U2 concert at Soldier Field, or the armored vehicle parked outside the Allstate Arena for a concert last month. The CTA is adding additional trains and buses to help people get around quicker and safer. And the emergency command center will be fully staffed this weekend, so officials can keep their eyes. <laughs> Excuse me, there's kids uh, running around our live shot, but police will be keeping an eye on everything out here. Live in Uptown, Audrina Biggis. <laughs> They've, they've been spending a lot of time with uh, Audrina tonight. They are too excited to see her. We that, hear them throughout. That's yeah. better than a photo bomb. That's it. a live shot bomb right there. Thank you, Audrina. <laughs>